Julia, we are seeing fire danger getting much higher through the middle of your work week. The good news is, as I mentioned a couple minutes ago, today it's really not too bad. We're looking at high temperatures in the mid 80s this afternoon, slightly cooler than what we had on Monday. Winds not that substantial out of the north to around 10 miles an hour in the valley. Humidity 15 to 25 percent. It is getting a bit dry out there, not as dry as what's ahead for tomorrow, though. So all around today looking mostly mild fire danger in the moderate range for your Tuesday. As we move forward, that certainly changes quite a bit. Take a look at this. A fire weather watch going into effect late tonight, lasting through 5 p.m. Thursday for the valley, foothills and mountains. Gusty north winds and low humidity are the big driving factors. Humidity down to as low as 10 percent, not recovering well overnight. We also have a wind advisory in effect due to those gusty winds, and there's potential for gusts up to 50 miles an hour out of the north. So this is going to be the strongest wind event we've seen so far in 2019. We're also concerned about trees downed into power lines or possibly into roadways. So this is going to be a major concern over the next few days. Now, the potential outages from PG&E for fire danger are much more substantial than what we saw over your weekend. You can see this includes a wide area, including Shasta, Tehama, Glen, and Butte counties. Be prepared for the potential for power outages as we head through the middle of your work week. You need to make sure you're planned ahead and prepared for the potential for outages on the way. Temperatures this morning, mostly in the 50s for the valley right now. We're seeing mid to high 50s in the foothills. 30s to low 40s in the mountains this morning. We're in not really seeing much of an issue right now out of the northeast to seven miles an hour in Red Bluff. Winds are mostly calm elsewhere early on today, and we are going to see winds really starting to pick up as we head into this evening. Late tonight, they start to become gusty tomorrow. The strongest winds of the week are expected, so that's the worst of the fire danger on the way. Satellite and radar showing clear skies overhead right now. Not expected to change as we move through the day. We're going to see a few clouds brushing across our region. That's about it. Any chance for showers is expected to stay to our north as this cooler system passes by off to the east. Now that cooler system is one going to bring us a very big drop in temperatures for tomorrow. But as that moves through, that's also going to really increase those pressure gradients, leaving us with tighter pressure gradients on the way and gustier north winds heading through. That's one of the big driving factors that we see is those gusty winds for high fire danger. Moving through Friday, winds start to slack and become out of the south. That's great news. Fire danger starts to subside. Heading into your weekend, we're staying mostly mild and dry across our region. Today, temperatures still in the mid 80s for the valley this afternoon. High 70s to low 80s in the foothills. 70s to around 80 degrees in the mountains for your Tuesday afternoon. And ahead your storm tracker 7 day forecast where your weekend is always in view. 85 degrees for your Tuesday in Chico, 75 degrees on Wednesday, so a big drop in temperatures, but winds and low humidity will be big factors in fire danger, extending into Thursday as well with mid to high 70s. Then we're in the high 70s through your weekend, looking pretty nice out there for the afternoons, but chilly for the mornings, mid 40s for overnight lows. Redding, 86 degrees this afternoon, down to around the mid to high 50s overnight. We'll see mid 70s with gusty winds tomorrow. High fire danger is on the way for Wednesday and Thursday in Redding. Back to the high 70s to low 80s. Friday through your weekend with mostly sunny skies. So the weekend, Julia, looks amazing out there, but Wednesday and Thursday, very concerning for fire danger with those gusty winds and very dry conditions across our region.